Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief keeps you informed about what's happening in Annapolis, Anne Arundel County, and Maryland. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and, of course, local weather. Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Tuesday, October 13th, 2020. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. This is kind of a scary story, but the Annapolis Police Department is investigating an attempted armed robbery that happened on Thursday night as a man was exiting the Ruth's Chris restaurant in Eastport. Now, the victim did not report this until the following day, but what had happened is that he was leaving the restaurant on Thursday evening at about 8.30 p.m., via the rear doors when he was approached by two unknown males. One of the suspects held him at gunpoint while the other rummaged through his pockets. Nothing ultimately was taken. However, the suspects did flee the area on the foot and the Annapolis Police Department is investigating. Two men from Glen Burnie were charged with attempted murder after police say they shot up a house. This all went down in the 400 block of Maple Lane Northwest in Glen Burnie on Sunday morning at about 4.14 a.m., Earlier in the evening, the two men had come to the house looking for a woman. When the occupants told them that a female doesn't live here, they left. Later on, in the middle of the night, they came back, knocked again, were told again that she doesn't live here, and when the occupant closed the door, they opened fire and shot through the door. They did get in a vehicle, fled, firing several more shots into the residence. Nobody was hurt, thankfully. The police were able to locate the vehicle. A short pursuit ended with it striking a curb and rendering it inoperable. And as the passenger jumped out to run, police quickly got him. They arrested the driver, who's identified as a 43-year-old man from Glen Burnie, and the passenger, who was a 19-year-old man from Glen Burnie. They did recover a loaded Glock handgun and a loaded AR-15 rifle, as well as an airsoft handgun. And here's some personnel news for Anne Arundel County. County Budget Officer Jim Beauchamp will be leaving the Pittman administration immediately to pursue other opportunities in the private sector. Beauchamp started with the county last year in July of 2019. Prior to that, he had a consultancy focused on financial modeling and reporting. At one point, Beauchamp did serve as the acting director of public works for the city of Annapolis in the Panelides administration. The county will be heading into a budget season come January. And, and Chris Trumbauer, who's a special assistant to the county executive, is going to be temporarily assisting in the budget office and has been named the acting budget officer beginning yesterday. Trumbauer is well qualified. He's a two-term councilman for District 6, now has a decade of experience wrangling the county budget. And in an email to the directors of different departments, Chief Administrative Officer Matt Power said, We are confident that he will keep the budget office and their talented analysts firing on all cylinders. So I don't know whether I want to offer condolences or congratulations to Chris Trumbauer. Mission Barbecue is about to celebrate in 2021. They just inked a deal for their 100th restaurant. It's going to go up in Frederick early next year. Number 99 is going to go up into Towson a little bit later on this year. Now, 100 stores is pretty amazing for a barbecue joint that started in Glen Burnie in September of 2011. They have 15 restaurants here in Maryland, including two right here in Annapolis. But what blows my mind is that they are in 16 other states, including Wisconsin, Connecticut, Tennessee, Florida, and North Carolina. And Tennessee and North Carolina are like barbecue havens, and a little joint from Glen Burnie is doing that. Good on you, Mission Barbecue. Congratulations. And finally, today, Apple is supposed to launch their latest iPhones, the iPhone 12s and all their 12 extra large XPs and everything else, if you're into that. And also, it is Amazon Prime Days. They are underway today and tomorrow. So if you are up to shopping online, go snag a deal there. And here is a deal for you. If you would like an autographed copy of Dave Gundell's new book, The Thomas Point Show Lighthouse, a Chesapeake Bay icon, he was the gentleman we just talked to during a podcast that we dropped over the weekend. I just finished it, and it is a fascinating book. If you want a chance to win this, just leave a rating and a review about the Daily News Brief, and we're going to select a winner out of the new ratings and reviews that show up by Friday. And if you want an easier second chance prize, how about a $25 gift card to Chesapeake Real Ale Brewery in Crofton, along with a custom pint glass? All you need to do is just post to social media, Facebook or Twitter, just recommending the Daily News Brief, and you want to use the hashtag EOA. DNB. That's I on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Good luck. All right, that does wrap it up for the news today. Please make sure you're checking out ionanapolis.net throughout the day for updates to these stories and more as we update them throughout the day. Let your friends, family, and colleagues all know about how to get a hold of it. 
Other than that, you need to hang tight because we have George Young with your local DCMDVA weather coming right up. But first, here's a quick message from Rick Peters from Solar Energy Services. Hello, energy consumers. This is Rick Peters, president of Solar Energy Services. Have you been looking for ways to save money recently? Maybe you should consider solar energy for your home. Or are you waiting for the technology to get cheaper? If so, how long are you going to wait? Today's solar costs less than 20% of what it cost 10 years ago. But while solar prices have declined every year, so have the financial incentives. Bottom line, if you wait for cheaper solar, you're also waiting for lower incentives. Take my home, for example. My solar system was installed in 2010, and it's been paid off for almost five years, and I no longer have to buy any electricity for another 15 to 20 years. If I waited for cheaper solar, I'd still be paying an electric bill. At Solar Energy Services, we have thousands of satisfied customers who are sure glad they didn't wait. So what are you waiting for? Sunshine's a waste. Call us today for a free solar design at 410-923-6090 or on the web at solarsaves.net. Sunshine, sunshine, nothing else can make me feel so fine. When you live near Annapolis, you know how fickle the weather can be. So you need a truly local forecast that's accurate and reliable. Forecast right here in Annapolis. DCMDVA weather is not just for today, but for the rest of the week and the weekend too. Now, here's George Young of DCMDVA Weather with the weather outlook for today and beyond. Hey, everyone, this is George with DCMDVA Weather, and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Tuesday, October 13th. After a cool and rainy day yesterday, today will be a big improvement with some sunshine returning as temps get back up into the 70s for afternoon highs, though it'll still likely be a bit breezy with gusts up to 20 miles per hour at times. Then it's more sunshine and 70s tomorrow and Thursday with lighter winds each day before another chilly day Friday with more rain showers and 60s as a cold front moves through from the west, setting the stage for a crisp and very fall-like like weekend with sunshine each day with highs in the upper 50s to lower 60s Saturday and Sunday along with AM lows in the upper 30s to mid 40s across the region. Okay, that's it for today. This is George Young of DC MDVA Weather. Make it a great day out there. Stay healthy and be safe and be sure to get our free app on all of your devices by searching DC MDVA Weather in the Apple or Google App Store and also follow us on Facebook and Twitter and use our website each day at dcmdvaweather.com so you can always stay weather informed. Annapolis may be Maryland's state capital, but it's also the sailing capital of the world. And whether you call Naptown home or are just planning a visit, a cruise on the Annapolis Maritime Museum's newly restored skipjack, the Wilma Lee is a perfect opportunity to sit back, relax, and let the wind carry you across the water. Whether you're looking for front row seats to the Wednesday night sailing races, a guided sailing heritage tour, or an evening cruise to enjoy the extraordinary sunsets over the Chesapeake, a cruise aboard the historic Wilma Lee is the perfect way to connect the bay through both cultural and ecological lenses. The Annapolis Maritime Museum is making sure all safety protocols are undertaken, including social distancing and requiring masks while boarding. And the boat is open air, allowing plenty of space to socially distance. Tickets are available at Ameritime.org. Private cruises are also available. Visit Ameritime.org for more information. You've been listening to the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues, this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis and Anne Arundel County. And don't forget about our website, iamannapolis.net, where you can find even more information. And make sure you follow us on Facebook at All Annapolis and on Twitter at IonAnnapolis. This daily news brief podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 6 a.m.